Oh, do we have to open it now? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>to some spooky spooky stuff lab i'm gwen i'm marty and i'm allison and i'm hosting my first game today in honor of halloween we have decided to do a serial killer quiz gwen and marty must answer true or false for twen- uh, 10 questions the person who gets it right gets a point the loser needs to have a nice delicious bite out of this bog witch brew that we have created out of apples garlic and purple sprinkles. No, are you for that? It's real juicy, and it smells delightful. I think the sprinkles have just been melted already. Yeah, Quite sugar it, sprinkles just—they just went. Yeah, it's probably acidic or something in there. I'm sure it's going to be real delicious. Mm-hmm. Are you guys ready? Not um. even a little bit. <laughs> All right, that sounds great to me. Ted Bundy helped law enforcement to capture another serial killer. Three, two, one. You both are correct. That sounds like something he would do. Ted Bundy helped investigators create a profile for the Green River Killer that was closer than the profile the FBI created, which proves that experience is more useful than a degree. (laughs) Oh, no. Ed Gein was kind of a hoarder. (laughs) Three, two, one. True. True. Yes. Apart from the lady bits and skin suits, (laughs) he lived in an absolute disgusting house full of garbage and food bits such as discarded beans, because it is said that he his favorite meal and the one thing that he would only eat was pork and beans. Except for his mother's room, which was left untouched and pristine after sh- her death. Gross. Would you like a... Yes, please. Wipey wipey? So I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed nobody has gotten anything wrong yet. I'm not. A serial killer is also a famous audiobook reader. Like, famous as, like, the public side is famous because he's just a serial killer who does it. Um, famous because he's a killer, but he also possibly did audiobooks, like, well-known audiobooks. So I possibly just gave you the answer. <laughs> well, I know that I didn't cheat asking questions. I don't make sure. <laughs> Three, two, one. That is true. Ed Kemper, who is known for murdering college girls on the campus his mom worked at, has done thousands of hours of audiobooks, including some very well-known books. They did not give me a list of the books that he has done, but um, he has done a lot. John Wayne Gacy ran a drug ring. Three. No! <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I'm too busy doodling. Hold on. <laughs> Three. No, uh, um. Uh, well, I'm ready. Uh, uh, one. That is false. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh good. That is very cute, Gwen. <laughs> John Wayne Gacy was, for the most part, a legitimate, a legitimate working man. He even dived into politics as, and was considered, apart from the murder, an upstanding community member. H.H. H. Holmes only killed for pleasure. I hope you lose. Uh, okay. uh, three. Oh, God. Two, one. Oh, somebody got it wrong. Uh, no. It is false. No. <laughs> yes. 
Dragon, you let me down! H.H. <laughs> Holmes was a notorious con man. He would kill for insurance money from his multiple wives that he had throughout the years. Oh, we just as, talked about yes, that too. As well as the family that he started to kill off, conning the con artist for insurance money until he was caught. Because he's the one with the murder castle. He yep. is the murder castle. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I know my because oh. we finally got a loser, Gwen now must take a nice big spoonful. Oh, do you have a big spoonful? Because oh. I'm bog witch brew. <laughs> Do I have a benefit because I'm a bog witch? No. <laughs> it's gonna oh, be all. Oh, oh it's I on the floor. It touched my sock. Oh. It's like undelightful cereal. Oh god, can you hurry up and eat it so you can put the lid back on? Is that is that adequate? Oh. I almost want to have pity on you, but yes. <laughs> Down the hatch. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hope that I get the rest of these right. I knew that was gonna get one of you guys. <laughs> so pretty garlicky. Well, I would hope so. Vampires. There's an entire clove in there. <laughs> Yay! There's half a head of garlic in there. That's um, disgusting. <laughs> so pro tip: have a vampire doctor. <laughs> This will work real great, so you never, ever have to see him and never pay the bill. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer tried making sex zombies out of his victims. Three. Five. <laughs> four. Three. Did you even put an answer down? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Two, one. <laughs> that is true. Oh, good. <laughs> he would. Well, not good. But good. <laughs> <laughs> he would drill holes in his victims' heads while they were alive and pour acid in their brains in hopes he could have the necrophilia without the actual necro part. It's said he actually didn't like to kill, but his urge to have a lifeless lover was too strong. Needless to say, it didn't work. They did still die. BTK only killed and tortured women. Five. <laughs> four. <laughs> I can't stay serious when you're in panic mode. <laughs> I just, oh god. Five. Don't look at my answer. I, Four. I, I've been good. Three, two, one. <sighs> oh. Oh boy, somebody got it wrong. I think there was at least a few guys in there. You'll never guess who it was. Gwen, you must now take a bite uh, of Bogwitch Brew. Can I at least be acknowledged that BLTs are life? <laughs> yes. Okay. BTK has also been known to murder children. One of his first known victims was a little girl and her brother. Yeah, he was messed up. He was. I studied a lot of serial killers, so. It shows. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I guess you could probably knock some of that off there, but if you want to go... Oh, God. Like, oh, God. It's almost like you like it. <laughs> it looks like you're eating cereal. <laughs> so gross. My tummy already hurts. Oh. This is not great. <laughs> you know, Allison, pretty soon you're going to be on this true or false quiz for killing I two people. <laughs> <laughs> Albert Fish stuck himself with needles in unsavory places because he wanted to feel the pain. I think I'd like out of all the serial killers that, that, that I can recall, he he was just creepy and he was that kind of guy that like you knew play with your mind. Yep. But it wasn't. Yeah, I'll Allison finish. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope I got this one right. I think I did. I, uh, 
Well, we're going to find out. Oh, man. It's okay. We'll just wait on you. <laughs> you know, this kind of defeats the purpose of three, two, one. <laughs> one. <laughs> one? It is true. Oh, my God. <laughs> he admitted this to police, but they didn't believe him until he had x-rays done, and, he, and they all saw the scars of how deep they went. Mm-hmm. He would stick his pelvis right in the bone with a needle. And his manly bits. Ooh. So, like, I think one of the grossest things I can remember about Fish is that he would kill, he'd kill children, mainly children. Mm -hmm. But then he would write the parents' letters in their own children's blood, explaining how he killed them. Yes. He was a goddamn monster. Yes. That's messed up. (laughs) That's messed up, bro. That's messed up. (laughs) Richard Trenton Chase would break into homes to murder his victims. One. (laughs) No. You both are wrong. No. That is technically false. Technically Wait, false. Technically. Because he would only enter homes that had unlocked doors. Ah! He took the locked doors as a sign he was unwelcome. Now you both get to eat my delightful brew. Yeah, I'm not taking as much as one. That is unfair to the game. You have to. That is me not wanting to throw up everywhere. Spoonful, Marty. One spoonful. I don't want to get my veil. One spoonful. I get spoonful. Oh, God, this is so gross. If it makes you feel better, there's only one question left. Let me help you. Thanks. Yeah? Oh, God, it smells so bad. Down the hatch. Yes, eat it. (laughs) You know what makes me really happy about Marty eating this? Is because he makes us eat gross stuff all the time. (laughs) We are going to be zesty individuals later. Oh, God. I'm ready. Bring it on! Gwen's probably already, her taste buds are probably already dead. So even if she loses this one, it's fine. Ted Bundy saved a three-year-old from drowning. Mm. I am marinating from the inside out. Oh, God. (laughs) Enjoy that later. (laughs) Mm, All right. Three, two, one. Congratulations. It is true. He was the only one to notice the toddler wander off and actually jump in to save him. He was also considered a highly viewed community member until they found out about all the murders. And that concludes... Tonight's spooky, spooky stuff lab episode <laughs> of serial killers. So, what have we learned here today, kids? Don't kill people. It's wrong. Don't eat garlic and apples together. <laughs> it's also wrong. That- <laughs> oh God. Yep. Oh. All right. Thanks everyone for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Stay spooky. Bye. 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 So I was trying to make a (laughs) zombie with heart eyeballs, and then it just kind of turned into a stick General Grievous with Billy Club. (laughs) You like stuff? Come see some more stuff. Uh, You like stuff? Come back and see more stuff. Do you like it? Enjoy your stuff. Ah, We've got more.